Okay, diving into some uh, more radio button stuff. Um, so here I've made a little movie switcher uh, with five buttons. I've got five different uh, movie file and tops here, each with a different kind of short film sample, kind of a VJ type of thing, kind of a Criterion collection little samples. Um, and so also, by the way, um, optimization tip here. So by hiding these, uh, so the switch is now set to index zero, so it's showing uh, this movie right here. So we can see that this one is cooking because the, the line has this little fluttering strobe thing. These are not cooking uh, because there's no need for them to. We're not, we're not seeing the display here. Switch is not showing it. Um, if I were to turn this display on, you can see now this is cooking, um, even though you know, switch isn't showing it. So um, optimization tip um, to, especially if you're using this type of uh, switch situation, um, keep the viewer display hidden. So buttons. So this is a group of five radio buttons. You can see radio down, beautiful. And so what we did, you know, let me, uh, yeah, for the panel here, we didn't actually have to connect it to anything. And I'll show you here. So I just plopped it. Um, for the other, for the toggle buttons and for momentary buttons, we had to kind of drag the button onto the component uh, field here in the panel. So the panel shop knows which thing it's actually looking at. Um, for a radio group though, um, the panel is not, you know, looking just at a single one of these buttons. It's kind of, it's looking at this level of the hierarchy and it's like the, the radio um, value is a, is a property of this entire level. Uh, so it's looking at, you know, buttons. It's basically, it's just looking inside this entire container that we are inside right now. Um, so you don't actually need to drag something onto it. I'll just get radio here. Let's get back or out. And we could see, so it's zero indexed. So even though this is one, two, three, four, five, it goes from that, uh, which is actually a good thing because, you know, we directly send this to switch, right? And that's switch is also zero indexed. So that enables us to switch through these movie clips. Okay, cool. So one other little trick that's you know pretty simple. Um, you know we're doing uh, same old thing with the container. So I've made the container exactly the right size for these five buttons. They're being aligned top to bottom. I'm not using any spacing for this. Um, but what I am doing is instead of having all these just say the stupid word button on it, I have added a little spice here. Um, amazing um, trick for once you get to a little more advanced level um, that you just have lots of elements that you want to be able to like program something with really quickly and not have to manually fuss around with everything. Me.parent.digits, uh, which means, so again, me is this text top, parent is button one, digits means the, oops, come back, uh, the number at the end of its name. So if I made, oops, why do you keep doing that? Okay, great. 32, right, so now this is 32. So that me.parent.digits is gonna grab uh, whatever number this is and automatically say uh, that number in the field. So which means uh, this is a really quick way, you know, once this says me.parent.digits, if you are gonna be copy pasting things, copy, shoom, 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 automatically this filled with different numbers because um, the names of these operators change. So this is pretty cool, um, really handy um, if you are going to be copy pasting a lot of elements uh, and just in general, uh, it's really useful. And we'll see in the next one, another little trick that we can do with that. Maybe let's, Let's go ahead to radio example two. I've got this beautiful Alec
alligator, bear, elephant, horse. <coughs> cool. Um, so I'm doing this a little bit different. This is similar to uh, some of the early demos, like the intro to Dats. I'm, I'm just using a single movie file in for these. Uh, and I'm using a folder, uh, which is looking at a folder I have with these four JPEGs. Um, using a convert <coughs> to um, split it at the period. Select is getting rid of this name row here, and then a null. So because I've named my files in a kind of a clean, simple way, I'm beaming this null four table here. And that is what is, let me go into here actually. That is what is propagating the text. Uh, so I'm using similar like meetup parent at digits, uh, which in this case is giving me the number one, because I'm in button one, right? So let's see what's happening. So this is one minus one is zero. Uh, so this dot dot slash means look up a level. Uh, so I'm actually looking up two levels. Okay, great. So I'm looking not in button one, I'm looking up here for something called null four. So go up one, go up another one, find something called null four, and then finds that row and column, uh, which is alligator. So this is uh, uh, you know using a kind of dat table in uh, tandem with a me.parent.digits situation uh, to maybe uh, create some really cool, uh, more complicated iterations of something. Uh, so I might think of something like, maybe we've got like lots of types of noise that we want to use. And let me just do like a time slice. Maybe let's just get like a single, a single sample of noise. Let's say, okay, great. And say it's random. So by changing the seed here, right, you get completely different numbers, for whatever reason. You know, maybe you need something like that. So what if I wanted to like, you know, a bunch of these, um, for whatever reason. Let's say you're doing instancing or whatever. Uh, I could automatically change the seed of these. And so instead of me.parent, I can just do me.digits. So in this case, I'm looking at the digit of the, the actual operator that I'm, I'm dealing with right now. All right, so I just copy pasted all these and the seed is different for all of these. Uh, so whatever, I'm not sure if that would exactly be useful um, to, to this way, but this kind of shows uh, it's another uh, functionality of this digits thing uh, that could be kind of cool, uh, especially for this kind of copy paste situation. Um, okay, so maybe maybe that's cool. And then you know, just like with before, I've got the same same sort of string here, looking at my radio, and then kind of looking at that folder that to actually load the proper file. Okay. <clears throat>